remember how the Democrats, their state media, and specifically the White House, have endlessly fear-mongered about dangerous misinformation over the last several years? This is something that we're certainly uh, keeping an eye on when it comes to misinformation, uh, that they, they take action, that they continue uh, to take action. Again, we're all keeping a close eye on this. So that's what we're paying attention to. We're paying attention to what is in the news and what is being reported on, uh, on the misinformation that's out there. Because if we talk about it in a way that is misinformation, then it helps the smugglers. You are flagging uh, misinformation. As I, I don't have anything more to add. You know, we work to protect that, uh, uh, protect Americans from disinformation. Now I feel better. Like you've heard me say a million times, these people are dangerous because they'll always carve themselves out an exception for the rules they plan on holding you to. We're seeing that once again from the self-appointed police of misinformation who all seem to be ultra-partisan leftists and Democrats who are themselves prolific spreaders of misinformation. Nina Jankowicz was the sterling example of this and they wanted her to head up the Ministry of Disinformation. Now, once again, we're seeing these self-appointed information police from the White House straight up spreading debunked lies. Why are you repeating this false claim that Republicans voted to reduce the number of Border Patrol agents, even though the Washington Post gave the administration three Pinocchios for that? Swing! So we don't believe it's a false claim. Uh, so we don't believe it's a false claim. Uh, Convenient. Well, of course, how stupid of me. It's totally different when KJP spreads misinformation because the White House still thinks it's true. Oh, how convenient for you to be able to carve yourselves out an exception to spread lies because you still believe they're true. Not only are they blatantly lying, but they're doing it so they can attack and demonize Texas and the Border Patrol for upholding our immigration laws, which also happen to be a barrier to the Democrats' plans for permanent control. Uh, our statements were very direct here uh, last Last year, House GOP voted, uh, voted, and not only did they vote for it, but they touted, they touted their Limit Save Grow Act. That's the act. Well, limit, and they, they vowed they, that it would they never limit, affect they, they, they voted for and touted it, right? This is an act. And this would have forced the elimination of 2,000 Border Patrol agents. Understanding all of the fact checks on, on that. Um, if you're saying that, you know, the, the White House, the president doesn't want to, you know, insult the American people, will the administration then amend its separate statement um, that imply that Texas officials were responsible for the deaths of three migrants um, when, in fact, they had nothing to do with it. They had already been dead for an hour by the time Mexico told uh, anyone in the U.S. about it. And the administration admitted as much in their court filing. They, they acknowledged that in their court filing, but the statement from the White House implies that Texas was responsible. And a number of outlets were forced to issue corrections and editor's notes because of that White House statement. So will the White House amend that statement? So let's be sensitive here. Three people died. Three migrants died. I'm but I'm just saying there was, was separate. There was an ongoing. This, the White House statement imply it says the White House statement says that Texas officials blocked U.S. Border Patrol from attempting to provide emergency assistance. To there were other there were other migrants in the water. Then why as wasn't well. that included in the there statement? There were other migrants in the water. That, that, that that's what you were our, referring to. Our statement is this is very very much consistent with DOJ. You're an idiot. You're wrong. What's even crazier is that the White House is spreading these lies because it benefits them politically and they know for a fact that most of the media is gonna let them get away with it. Even when the Washington Post did call out one of these two false statements, KJP just blows it off and the White House DOJ tracks down Biden's political opponents online by forcing banks to comb through their data for keywords like MAGA and Trump. At what point do these people stop and realize that they are the baddies? Believe me when I tell you that if these people retain power in 2025, and are successful in imprisoning Trump, then they're gonna come for us all while telling the public that they're just protecting them from dangerous misinformation or for supporting an insurrectionist. All while they flood the country with an ever increasing amount of illegal immigrants who they intend on making Democrat voters. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've been here this long, might as well hit that like button and also make sure to check out our debate stream every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Thanks and I'll see you on the next one.